Now coming to the FRM examination structure, I'm quite sure a lot of you would already know about this, but we'll just do a quick recap. If you look at the current of the that this is the current breakup. So we have foundations of risk management 20%, quants 20%, financial markets and products 30%, valuation risk model 30%. The paper is going to be a 100 multiple choice question paper spread over 4 hours and it's, it is to be done in pen and paper. I am quite sure all of you would know this. So there was an early bird discount and a deadline of up to 31st Jan, which is just past. And the next deadline is 28th February. So beyond which, of course, the fees increase uh, substantially. So those of you who really want to take FRM, please do so in February. Register for the exam in February. Don't wait till the last moment. So this is the current uh, breakup of uh, and okay so as you can see the weightage of wants is 20 percent now uh, if we talk about 100 questions now so 20 percent would entail to somewhere around 20 questions okay approximately now um, even though the weightage is only 20 percent you will find that since FRM is very, very heavily quant driven, okay, you have to actually um, put in much more effort in understanding quants. It is actually uh, much more important than this 20%. Because uh, once you understand the quants, only then you will be able to understand the underlying mathematics required for financial markets and products or valuation and risk models. So, and also the come handy when you try to understand the foundations of risk management. For example, the concept of correlation covariance which is explained in this would come handy in foundations of risk management. Similarly, the concept of uh, probability and statistics expected value would come handy when you understand financial markets and products or when you understand valuation and risk models. So first thing to be understood is this 20% is quite misleading. So even though in terms of marks you might only find a 20% weightage, but in reality wants is going to be the most important topic in part one, apart from financial markets and products. Yeah. This que the questions are multiple choice questions and there are no subjective questions. Okay. So uh, please take care of that. Yeah. Now having said this, let us uh, move to the next. Now here is some analysis of the uh, FRM 2009 and FRM 2010 sample paper. If you look at this, it is 23% over here okay, and 20% over here. Again, as I had said earlier, this 23% or 20% is sort of misleading because the set of questions come from bar and come from financial markets and products. So these two guys are very, very important. Uh, but the fact is, you just can't understand them completely without knowing wants. Anyway, that's very, very important. So if you're able to really score very well in these two topics, chances are you'll of course sort of clear FRM, okay? But the problem is you just can't score too much in these topics without understanding wants. Now, as the name quants suggest, it should be very, very mathematical, formula driven. Uh, but it so happens that these questions are also from subjective side. In fact, if you look at the uh, uh, numbers for uh, 2009, 2010, uh, there are equal number of numericals and equal number of subjective questions. Sometimes it is not clear. Uh, from is it coming from quants or is it coming from financial markets and products it is not very clear but numerical and subjective questions both can come the ratios are not fixed as you can see it is 6 is to 2 over here it is 4 is to 9 over here so one has to be very uh, clear on this 
definitely valuation and risk models, numerical questions are more uh, required. So even though we might find some theoretical questions and quants, finally it is the numerical questions which really matter the most. Uh, the number of questions year wise, as you can see, the breakup is sort of similar, okay. So it is in line with what the questions, it is in line with what typically comes in the exam. Yeah. 